we create our reality from our minds, right? 100%. That we see, like, everything that we want to do, we plan out our days from our mind. We create whatever whatever our vision is has to be created from up here. 100%. Our creativity is up here, our imagination. For sure. So if we're putting in this food where it's distorting our vision, it's distorting our life, how is that going to affect you if you're an entrepreneur that's trying to, you know, create this reality? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, you're not gonna be on top of your game. That's like, that's like, how are you gonna call yourself an entrepreneur, somebody that gets paid to use their brain and and do a disservice to your thoughts? That's like playing a football game with no cleats, brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? You showing up to the test with no pencil and paper. Right. You, right. you, you can't, you're not gonna beat me. You're not gonna beat you. Bro, this guy, he's a creative, he's an athlete. He's an intellectual, an entrepreneur. He's a bright mind, an independent thinker. He does a lot, actually. And the thing is, me and him, we vibe really well because we're going to the same direction. We're both trying to level up. We're both putting in work every single day. This is my guy, no other than the one and only Come on. Prince Samuel, man. Come on. Hey, man. Sir. Bless, bro. Hey, they need to get, like, the little clapping <laughs> behind it, bro. Yes, sir, man. Hey, man. I'm glad to have Real you on, deal. bro. I'm, I'm blessed to be bro. here, man. I'm blessed First to be here. First person I ever had on my YouTube, bro. Oh, that's love, How'd bro. How'd I feel, bro? Hey, Great, man. I'm blessed. <laughs> blessed to be here, bro. <laughs> All right. Okay. Like, who are you? Because yeah. a lot of people don't know about the story, bro. Like, For sure. I'm Prince Samuel. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, Duval County. So I grew up playing golf, bro, for about, I'm, shoot, I'm 24 now. I started when I was eight. So you do the math on that. Uh, went to FAMU, played college golf there. Now I'm in Atlanta. Uh, I go to chiropractor school. That's where we met at life, man. Uh, and it's just amazing our paths cross, bro. We're here now. Dang, bro, getting into golf at an early age, like, did you have other friends that looked like you? Bro, believe it or not, uh, most of my friends I went to school with definitely tried to ro roast on me, pick on me, whatever the case. It was love, but it was still the fact of I'm the only kid playing golf. On top of that, I'm black, so it's like it's crazy. Believe it or not, bro, there's an inner city program called the First Tee. So when I would go there, all of my friends that I grew up playing with were black, bro. Like, wow. so it was like a tribe of us. It was maybe like, I say eight of us. We used to go up there every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and just be battling, bro. Playing wow. for like a dollar or two, or oh, wow. playing for lunch. Okay. Like, yeah, bro. So it was, like yeah, it was a vibe. It was a vibe. From that point on, your mindset was, I want to go pro and golf, right? For sure. When did the mindset shift to go ahead and pursue other things like entrepreneurship? For sure, and for sure. Okay, so coming out of college, I was ranked in the top five of minority golfers in the country. So in my head, I'm finna live out my dream I'm about to play get on tour and, and, and just go from there but honestly it was a blessing in disguise where I got into a really bad car accident I would say two years ago now and from getting in that car accident and not being able to play golf uh, it made me realize like man me just depending on my body to make money it is not suited for the long run because like let's say this accident would have happened if I'm 35 and I got a wife and kids bro we would be all looking crazy <laughs> so from there i was like okay let me uh let me see other avenues where else can i use my talents what else am i good at and let's see how we can run it up man so i'm curious like what sparked your interest in chiropractic Did okay you find out about it just playing golf is really bad for your back bro so i started going to a chiropractor probably like in the high school i uh, got a little familiar with it and to be honest with you, I've seen the type of cars and, and oh, the, the house the that my chiropractor, yeah, the lifestyle my chiropractor had. So that was always in the back of my head as, as, a, as another lane. Like, okay, them boys do get money. I honestly had no idea about chiropractors until then because, like, we mostly only know about medical doctors, dentists, uh, pharmacists, you know what I mean? So seeing this a whole nother alternative to traditional medicine, that's what peaked my eye because, bro, I don't take, I don't take pills bro just being honest I never was that kid uh, so I'm not about to go to med school and force somebody to take something I wouldn't even put in my own body wow. so I had to, I had to find another way bro and, and that, so, that's what fit it what's your goal with chiropractic moving forward because I know there's a bunch of different ways you can go with it yep. is to touch every avenue bro because right. I mean everybody has a back you know, it doesn't matter if you're a kid, an athlete, an everyday worker. Uh, I do want to specifically target uh, people that look like me and you just because we're, we're, we're so used to just taking the norm, like what they tell us to do. But, bro, 
instead of taking Tylenols and uh, ibuprofen, Motrin's, uh, that has a long-term effect on your body, like messing up your kidneys, whatever. You could go, uh, go to the chiropractor, after a week or two, bro, of consistent care, right. a lot of your, your headaches or backaches or whatever could be gone, bro. People don't think that there's another option to uh, help. A hundred percent. thing, people don't tend to think there's another option to yeah. food choices. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Mindset as far as like putting healthy foods in the body. Uh, bro, I think... That's a whole rabbit hole in itself. You already know, bro. We be we literally rap about that all the time. So in terms of food, bro, we're at a surplus right now of, of just food. There's there's an abundance. You don't you don't have to really have to stress for your next meal. You know that you can go across the street to McDonald's. Uh, you go to Walmart. You go to Publix. It's just accessible. Of course, you do have to, to spend money. That's That may be the only uh, obstacle, but they are ch cheaper options. But with this surplus of food and, and how it may look like abundance in, in actuality, it's, it's gluttony, bro. Bro, the, the antagonist of abundance is gluttony. Right. So that's literally the opposite of it. You, you think that you're in this surplus, but in actuality, bro, you can skip a meal or two and be fine. The whole three meals a day, bro, that, that that's a lie, bro. Right. I, the food pyramid, all of that, what they taught you, right. it, you have no business eating that much food, right. to be honest with you. If you think about your great-great-grandfather, uh, or even you can go further down the generations, bro, they did not eat that much. We didn't have refrigerators. We didn't have... Uh, processed foods, we didn't have no Ziploc bags, we didn't have none of that, bro. Eating was a lot more, uh, w was not as common as it is now, bro. You, you, you couldn't go on Uber Eats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, with this surplus of food, any decisions that you make or you want to say is intuition coming from the gut, bro, it's clouded because you have all these these high sodium, high sugary, high processed foods, uh, basically disturbing your hormonal balance disturbing your your, your ph your body function right. and you thinking that you're gonna tap in into your your your, your essence and get the the, right. the information that you want it's not gonna happen bro from my own experience i noticed certain foods yeah. have an effect on my consciousness oh bro come on now so like let me explain that a little bit talk like, to like, me if i wasn't eat a mcdonald's double cheeseburger yeah i know for a fact my thought, my thinking is going to change, bro. brother. I'm not gonna be able to think the same way I can think if I if I eat me a nice clean meal. And ain't no telling what it's doing in your body, bro. Have you ever had a uh, have you ever had a glass of water and pour it like some some oil in it? Yeah, yeah. And, it you, and you it's separating it spread throughout the whole thing, right? Right. It's the same thing that happened to your body, bro. We we 80 percent water, 80 percent water. So if you you eating that chicken sandwich or, or or that that five piece wing, bro, it's not just going in your stomach. That oil is literally breaking off. It's going all throughout your blood, bro. That's why within 20, 30 minutes after a heavy meal, bro, you got the itis, bro. You got to lay down. Your body just really went into short circuit. They don't know what the hell you didn't put in it. It got to lay down, recoup. And, and figure it out. That's why I say, hey, bro, you gotta go to sleep, bro. We gotta, we gotta figure what's going on here, bro. So that, that's literally what's going on inside of you, bro. So my thing is, bro. So I got a crazy thought right here, bro. Would you say that the food that you're putting into your body is having this kind of effect on you? And yeah. We've known this from science too. That backs it up. For sure. But also from our experience, we noticed, and we also agree on the fact that we create our reality from our minds right 100 percent that we see like everything that we want to do we plan out our days from our mind we create whatever our, whatever our vision is has to be created from up here 100 percent. our creativity is up here our imagination for sure so if we're putting in this food where it's distorting our vision it's distorting our mind how, how is that going to affect you if you're an entrepreneur that's trying to you know bring things into reality yeah bro you're not going to be on top of your game that's like that's like how are you going to call yourself an entrepreneur somebody that gets paid to use their brain and and do a disservice to your thoughts that's like playing a football game with no cleats brother <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean you showed up to the test with no pencil and paper right you right. You, you can't you're not going to beat me you're not going to beat you um, high energy equals high income high energy yeah. equals high income yeah if you don't have high energy 
Then what's the opposite of that, bro? That's low. <laughs> no, for sure. Hey, <laughs> and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take you one one higher than that, bro. Okay. So there's high energy right. food versus low energy food, bro. Okay. So prime example, bro, uh, the coconut. Right. All right, it is it grows all the way up in the tree, right? It's filled with nothing but electrolytes. It's one of the highest energy foods you can eat because in actuality, it's so it's closer to the sun than opposed to eating something that grows onto the ground. You're gonna get a, a much higher vibrate. Your body gonna react so much quicker to that coconut water. With like how fast yeah. technology is evolving. Yeah. All like a lot of the stuff that's gonna be coming out is just gonna be synthetic, bro. For sure. Like grown in a lab. So we gotta be real conscious of 100%. where are we getting our food, even if it's a fruit. I'm gonna give you some sauce. I don't mean to cut you off, bro. If you go to the grocery store and you looking on your fruits, bro, right. and you know how they got like little series, like the little sticker. Look at it real hard. If it doesn't have a nine as the first number, it's not organic, bro. Okay. So anything other than that is is GMO. Like t tomatoes, for instance, bro, they have flounder cells in them uh, to help them uh, last through the winter so they don't get frostbitten. Wow. So little things like that, bro. It's crazy. That ain't right, bro. It's Honestly, the best way to protect yourself is just being aware because one thing I know is a lot of people don't like hearing this stuff, but... yeah. Ignorance is what's going to cause people to, you know, suffer the most. So if you, yeah. just, you know, learn and take yeah. the time to learn it, over yeah. time you're just gonna, you're just gonna move accordingly. Yeah, it's bliss though. What you mean? Ignorance is bliss, bro. Why, oh. why do you? Some people are okay with doing what they're doing, eating what they're eating, because mm. it's good to them. They would much rather take the instant gratification of this is tasting good as opposed to the six hours of effects it has on your body. Right. I'd much rather enjoy my five minute meal. The taste is I'm getting from this, it tastes so good, it's well seasoned, whatever the case, as opposed to, bro, I'm finna feel like shit for seven, eight hours. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be sleepy, I'm gonna be tired, I'm gonna be groggy. Right. Low energy, low vibration, right. all of that, bro. <laughs> It's low crazy. Consciousness. Low consciousness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and like you said, I, I get what you're saying. I ignorance is bliss. Yeah. But I'm saying like, the, the thing is, it's ironic that they say that because yeah. it's that lack of knowledge that leads to the most suffering, bro. For sure. But bro, I'm pretty sure at this point in life, every single person knows eating McDonald's is bad for them. Mm, facts. Yet is still one of the highest grossing fast food chains in the world, not even America, in the world. So right. what do you get from that? I think that it has to do with self-respect or just like valuing yeah. yourself. 100%, I'll agree with you. If you value yourself, you would take care of you. You wouldn't eat that. That's my, and I know like that's like a broad statement. I no. Like, I don't want to trigger nobody. That's why I'm going. I get what you're saying. I trigger them though. <laughs> if you purposefully put something in your body that you know is bad for you, but tastes good, you do not care about yourself. You cannot convince me otherwise. Bro, I look at the investment, bro. Right. Like you are your greatest asset. I look at myself as, okay, I am gonna probably the grocery bill gonna be a little higher than than me eating out every day, but bro, I, I'm gonna take how I feel. I'm not even just thinking about now. I'm thinking about ten years from now. Thanks. Cause bro, the hospital crazy. Me going to the hospital for an X-ray, bro. That's like ten bands, five bands off there. So in the long run, bro, taking care of yourself is always gonna be your greatest investment. Health over everything, bro. Health is wealth, bro. So if health is wealth, bro, you should be investing in your health. For sure. It is like a lot of times people will go for the cheaper meal because mm -hmm. it has more like, yeah. bang for your buck. But yeah. does it really have more nutritional value? Probably not. Not at all. You gotta look at the, the pros and the cons. Yeah. If you can get a good meal that may be more expensive, yeah. maybe three times ex as expensive, you might you have to check, is it three times more nutritious? Yeah. Is it is it 10 times more nutritious? Bro, you know what I'm saying? I feel like if it's good, too good to be true, it is, bro. That goes for anything. If if, if, if a place is offering a family meal for $20, right. bro, I don't think I should put that in my body up. To feed a family of four people, bro. KFC, they doing like a. Uh... I hate KFC. <laughs> I do not like KFC. Bro, they they got like a family of four meal, like the whole bucket. You get sides, mashed potatoes, green beans, biscuits. Bro, I think it's like twenty five dollars to something like. Bro, that's insane. Man, that is crazy. You can't even get a pack of chicken for. 
a pack of chicken itself is gonna cost you like twelve, thirteen dollars in the store. Like a wings. It's yeah. business, man. One hundred percent. The they're gonna make a. They're gonna make a good product. Yeah. Is it gonna look good? Are they gonna market to you right? <laughs> yes, they're gonna do that. And then when you finally put it in your mouth and taste it, wow! I want to come back for more. <laughs> it's gonna taste so good that right when you're done. Dang, that's all you gonna think about. You want another one. You want another one. Yeah. And another one. Bro, food is a drug, bro. <laughs> bro, you lit. When I first started fast, and I had withdrawals, bro. Like literally, my brain was like, bro, I have to eat something. Like I'm hungry. And in actuality, I'm not. Like you can, your body can last. I think two weeks without food. Right. Granted, we're not finna push it that long, but uh, uh, six, seven hours without eating is not gonna kill you. Where I think that in the future. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be two kind of people. It's gonna be the people that choose to take care of themselves and, you know, find balance. Yeah. Or the people that just get consumed by modernization of food industry and society, man. Hey, on a quick side note, bro, for the traders out there, bro, I think uh, investing in healthcare stocks is really gonna be the, the trend for the next, not even 10 years for mm. for the next 30, bro. Like, okay. we the, we're the most overbeast overweight country in the world bro by a landslide crazy like crazy. it's not even it's almost like you get shamed for being skinny now bro yep on, bro on instagram the end like bro they're... that's why like i'm real careful with how i frame certain things yeah. i know it's gonna trigger somebody for sure and i'm not trying to trigger nobody Nah, not at all i want you to do better though i'm not trying to be mean <laughs> but i want you to do better i care about you you know what i'm saying that's really all it is. You kind of got, you kind of live in a society where, you know, there's a lot of things that aren't necessarily right, but it's tolerated, bro. It's accepted. Like this, 100%. Is, this is how life is. 100%. I'm, just, I'm here to say that for me, that's not in my reality, bro. I, I don't At even all. know what's on the McDonald's menu. Like he said, yeah, for, I, man, what? I didn't even know people weren't going after their goals until he reminded me. <laughs> I thought that was like, I thought that was like uh, a thing. Of the <laughs> no, bro. Pete. So look, this is what it is everybody it's that whole uh, new year's resolution type deal when when the new year start the gym is full for like january february come march though bro it go back to the regulars like that whole new, it's the same concept everybody got goals bro but it does no good if you have a goal and you tell me your goal but at the same time you're going out every weekend you you on IG for f your screen time on your phone because it tell you your screen time over eight nine hours a day on IG. Right, bro, it's only twelve hours of sunlight, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, I got something like I got something to branch off of that. Go ahead. So my whole thing is like focusing on mindset, focusing on cultivating that healthy mindset. For sure. Because I believe that if you have the right mindset, you can literally achieve anything. For sure. But I also want to speak on what you said right there mm -hmm. about having a goal and not necessarily putting the work behind. It. Yeah. There's a saying that it's like faith without works is dead, or belief without action is dead. Mm -hmm. so I'm curious, like, what's your like thoughts on that? How, like, what would you say about that? That's 100 percent true, bro. That's uh, that's like planting the seed and not watering it. That's that, that's literally what it is, right, bro. That's you literally you want to you want to build a garden. You go to the store, you get a pack of let's say uh, lemon seeds, bro. You want to grow some some lemon trees, right, right. Put it in there. You water it the first two three days, but you have no discipline. You're not consistent. After a week, you you forget about it, or you just leave it, bro. That seed's never gonna grow. You never gonna get no lemon trees, bro. Thanks, bro. It, it's just like that. It, it's just like that, bro. What was that? That what was that? What was that quote you told me about discipline, bro? A disciplined mind. The mind is a terrible master, but an amazing servant. Whew. So you gotta master your mind, bro. Like that's why I say mindset. Like I don't just say like, oh, believe in yourself, have motivation. I don't even care about motivation. Yeah. This isn't motivation at all. I'm here every single day. I'm I'm putting out the shots. Call me up every single day. And you're gonna find out what I'm doing. I'm putting studying. out the shots. Working, grinding, working out, yeah, doing something productive. I'm not saying like go overboard and burn out. Not at all. Take your time, but it's not about motivation. It's about cultivating that mindset, cultivating that personality. Because yeah. personality is what's gonna create your your reality. I so you gotta do that every single day. I feel like uh, it's a saying by Eric Thomas, bro. It's uh. Called execution is worship. Mm. So, so, bro, 
granted basically what he was saying in, in his speech was you can and he's a motivational speaker mind you this is what this man said he said you can get up and watch me every single day but at a certain point if you don't execute on whatever your belief is you're wasting your time he was like bro cut me off it's you wow. you've heard enough of me oh, cut me off <laughs> you got the message go put in the work bro wow. so when he said that bro that really jumped to me it's like dog you can you can have as much motivation as you want you can tell as many people your dreams your goals but bro if, if you're not putting in the legwork behind it bro what are, what are you really doing with your time? Right. That, that goes. Speak on that real quick. Go ahead. Telling people your dreams. That's been scientifically proven. For yeah. one, when you tell somebody your dreams, you release dopamine. Talk so to them. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but right there, you already kind of tricked yourself into like, it's good to visualize it, but if you celebrate it early, you're going to, what's the opposite of when it peaks? It's going to, you're going to hit a valley. So that, for sure. that's one thing. But yeah. two, somebody can easily like, not necessarily see the vision so be careful who you tell it to if you're gonna tell it to somebody yeah. tell it to somebody that's like-minded sure. gonna be like okay now what you about to do about it <laughs> Hey, bro, I want to go off of that. When it's like, uh, when you have something that you haven't accomplished yet, like your dream, it's a seed, right? right. So if I tell you what I want to do right. and you don't believe in it, right. you putting out that negative uh, frequency, right. I just put my seed into bad soil, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, snap. Never going to, but that goes back to, you could, you can water your seed now this time you, you put the seed but if you put it in, in a in a chemical waste field but it's still not gonna grow or if it do grow it's gonna be you can't eat it right because it's in bad soil bro right it's the same concept uh show me your friends i'll show you your future bro it's the same concept bro bro i think of the mindset kind of like that soil bro yeah for sure like it's the foundation like i think about it because a lot of people focus on skill set skill set skill set like i yeah. need to learn how to trade i need to learn credit i need to learn but there is something that's holding them back and that's the limiting belief or whatever it is mm -hmm. but when you crack that and you remove that limiting belief it's over with it's over with I get exactly what you're saying, bro, in terms of uh, in terms of trading, bro. Like, I'll look at my account, and I'll be like, all right, I want to make this much by this quarter. This is my quarter goal. When in actuality, bro, my quarter goal is too small, bro. I should, I should, I should elevate my thinking. Right. Because I'm doing myself a disservice. You know, instead of trying to be modest or, or be realistic. Right. Bro, you got to shoot for the stars, bro. And that's what I'm telling myself, like, bro, think of a number that almost scares me. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't want to say out loud. I'm, I'm a little scared hey, bro, to say it out loud. Bro, yeah. One of my mentors said something to me. He told me it takes the same amount of energy to think small as it does to think big. <laughs> 100%. That shit, that shit changed my whole mindset. Because I'm like, yeah. dang, I really did. Like, because once I thought bigger, yeah. it was like, it didn't take no more energy just to At think all. a little bit bigger. I'm gonna put and that. That's what I hit that number that I thought bigger on. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in my pocket, bro. I'm taking that one with me. <laughs> it takes the same amount of energy to think small as it does to think big. It really does, bro. You know, it, you might as well yeah. think big. That's crazy. You might, really, you gonna have this? It's the same thought, bro. Just put an extra zero behind it, bro. It's the same thought. That's crazy, bro. That's when it really solidified for me. Like, okay, you can do it. You just gotta, you gotta literally first start off with the plan. Yeah. Start off with that vision. Then put that, put the plan behind it, and then put the work in. It's and you, simple. And you're there. And then you, and then you, you there. And there's always gonna be, there's gonna be road bumps. Hundred percent. You know, things that pop up. But like you said earlier, bro, there ain't no L's. There's just lessons. But you gotta learn from them. So that's that's yeah. where I'm at. I'm in that stage in my life where I'm learning so much, bro. I'm working, working, working. Yeah. Learning, learning, learning. Applying, 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 experimenting. Boom. Yeah. Learn it, learn it, learn it. You gotta bump your head a couple times in that. It's it's needed, you know. Don't get discouraged from it though, cause it's like, honestly, I've learned the most from the lessons than the losses. I'm mean, uh, the lessons and the wins, bro. Real right. deal. Every time I win, it's like your ego kicks in, like that was supposed to happen. You know what I mean? So you get like this false Superman complex. Mm. Boy, you lose something. You made an idea and it didn't come out how it was supposed to in your head. Oh my goodness, bro! I'm sitting there, I'm I'm replaying that bit three, four times in my head, bro. Where did I go wrong? Where did I mess up? Oh, I I did that. I don't think I'm gonna do this next time. I'm gonna do the same way, and I'm gonna just cut this part out and add this one. 
and then we're gonna run the play again and see what happens. That's how you grow. That's bro. how you, man. That's crazy. Tell me something, bro. That's, that's like that's how we are in life, man. Like right now, we're we're in a stage of growth, man. Like yeah, you know, you're doing your thing right now, entrepreneur, and in college. Yeah. And you still an athlete, in my opinion, bro. You take uh, care yeah. of your body and for you're sure. You're an athlete. Same yeah. Over here, like I may not be in school, but I'm still a student. For a hundred, still study. Bro, you you never you never stop learning, bro. <laughs> It never stop that, that school bro school is a hoax bro like mm, okay you literally like bro to be a business major no offense to anyone that's a business major or whatever the case bro you can learn all of that on youtube bro what nice. honestly that's with anything with accounting too like, like any anything bro yeah. uh you literally can even in terms of a, the only thing that's stopping uh like a medical degree or whatever right. you got to get the certification but bro all that information is on youtube literally oh, wow. so it's like it's just a piece of paper at, at the end of the day right. what you really need to learn are, are life skills or are discipline for sure trading uh, or, or what is it just high value skills high bro value skills. so whether it be entrepreneurship in the form of real estate trading uh, taxes right. credit whatever the case you need to learn something that they don't teach you in school that's what's gonna pay you the most money bro which right. is, is something they don't teach you you need to learn about yourself <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I feel like too many people don't know themselves. <laughs> That's all I gotta say, bro. <laughs> you, hey, bro, the bar, bro. That's the one. If you don't know yourself, you can't grow yourself. Bro, that boy <laughs> said you need to know yourself. <laughs> no kizzy. You gotta know yourself. That's bro. the one. Know your tendencies, bro. Know what you're good at, what you're not good at. Right, because like a lot of times people go to college to find themselves, and I'll say I kind of did that, bro. Yeah. I kind of, I, I went to college with a goal in mind, like. I was good with technology. For sure. I was gonna get a degree that was related to it. For sure. Kind of like keep working it out. But I had to really find myself, bro. Like yeah. figure out like what am I, what is my unique value, bro? 100%. Like, what is something I'm able to do consistently and you know, feel good about. And that's like creating. Like, yeah. Not only creating, but also being, a, being an entrepreneur and learning business. That's something yeah. I love to do. You, for sure. Hey, you know what's crazy? When in terms of like getting to know yourself, Bro, you're with yourself every single day, bro. Nice. And is it not crazy to you that you still have to put in time and effort to learn about yourself, bro? That blow that blew my mind when I first started that journey, bro. Mm. Um, it, it is truly crazy, bro. It's like Drake say, bro. Know yourself, bro. Wow, know yourself. Know yourself, <laughs> bro. Know your worth for sure. That's wow, really bro. it, bro. And, and real quick though, like, what was your journey like for for learning yourself? And knowing yourself? Um. First and foremost, to go the unbeaten path, bro. Uh, in undergrad, bro, I had a lot of friends, bro, but they weren't necessarily the right friends for me. You know what I mean? Uh, still great homies, whatever the case, but, bro, f for where I want to take myself, right. it, it wasn't the crowd, bro. So I had to honestly get comfortable being by myself, bro. Right. That was one of the biggest things. Uh, and then, two. I, I value freedom. That's the right. biggest thing I learned about myself, bro. I can't work a conventional job, bro. I just, I can't, brother. I, bro, I refuse, right. I, bro. I ain't no, no one is about to tell me I gotta work this day, this day, this day. I can't get this day off. Right. Uh, I only get this amount of PTO or what, bro? No. All of those things. I can't, dog. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, you can't get, you can't go to lunch right now. <laughs> bro, my homegirl told me she works, uh, she got a corporate job, right? Okay. She told me, this blew my mind, bro. Y'all, they got an ass to go to the bathroom, bro. Wow. Dog. That is wild. Actually. A grown man. A grown man. Hey, uh, uh, can I go to the bathroom real quick, man? I take five to go to the bathroom. And you got to clock out. Wow. So they not even paying you. They not even paying you to go to the bathroom, bro. They said, you better clock out. <laughs> bro, that's slavery, bro. Yeah, that is. And I, I, I get the point of having a job. I think it's good for some people. A hundred percent. When I had a job, I learned a lot about business, actually. 100%. Because I was open up, I was open yeah. to like, how was this business running? Because I was a server. For sure. And I also learned like how to better communicate and like serve people. Because that's what you're doing as an entrepreneur. For sure. For sure. So I, that kind of helped me on my path. But I'll say that the biggest problem is when people are there for too long. Or, 100%. Or they just, 
You know what I'm saying? Because that 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 turns they turn. It's a trap. Yeah, yeah. And just to clarify, I do not. Uh, every jobs are important. I'm not saying I'm not devaluing working, bro. That's not what I'm saying. It's just for the simple fact of that's not where I want my life to be, bro. Right. You know, I, I want to be able to to spend time with my family. I want to be able to to spend time with my thoughts, bro, and, and, and to just go to the next level. Freedom, bro. Right. That, that's really it. The thing I was saying, because I got, I got a little bit stuck in that cycle of, you know, working, working, and going to school. And yeah. Money was great. That's why, that's kind of why it's I got It's a trap, started. yeah. So money was good, and then, should I take a risk here and do something I never did before? I ended up taking that risk. But during that time, I started to feel like a slave a little bit. I'm like, dang, this is like modern day slavery. I can't, I can't be free. Yeah. I can't do what I want. They, they literally made me come in on Mother's Day. Wow. And they said they were, I was either gonna get fired or I was gonna come in on Mother's Day. Yeah, that, came in because you know. Yeah, for sure. But that's that was that was that, that first was like. like, like, like for wow. sure. I like, really, I got a mom, bro. <laughs> that's wild, bro. That that's truly wild. Yeah, man. So yeah. That's what happens, like? I'm not sure. Have you ever had a job before? Oh, bro, I, were, I had a bunch of jobs, bro. I started off in high school at Zaxby's, bro. Okay. Uh, in terms of food, they do have very fresh food, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. They have very, besides the fried chicken part, bro. It's it's like the oil's not being good for you. It's fresh, uh, fresh tenders. We we batter them up back there, drop them. Cool. Exactly. Yeah, bro. I, I don't eat it no more. I ain't even gonna lie. I go every now and again. Oh, every blue moon. Okay. It got a. Last time I went like three months ago. Every blue moon, I, I slide in. Uh, I worked at a shoe store, bro. A luxury shoe store. That's where I really first got my knack for uh, networking. I worked at Cole Han, bro. I don't know if you know what those are. It's like uh, just a dress shoe, bro. So uh, just the people that used to come in were, were typically. I mean. Business, honestly, businessmen of all forms, entrepreneurs, nine to fivers, whatever the case. But just being able to, to go into a shoe store and spin two bands or a band to throw down a black card and hear it clank on the glass, stuff like that. Yeah. Especially in high school, it made me be like, wow, this is way different from the environment I come from, bro. How do they have it, bro? So that's where I first started the, those conversations. And lastly, the golf course, bro. Like. Mm. Nice. Yeah, that's probably my favorite job. Man. Yeah. I so yeah, that's some fire jobs, bro. Like. Yeah, for sure. At the end of the day, bro, that's what's basically what you said was exposure, bro. Yeah. Exposure is what opened you up to it. Hundred percent. That's honestly like why I create content. I create content yeah. to give people some exposure to some new concepts and to some new ideas. Cause I think that I think a little bit differently than most people. You do. I will say that. Yeah. And also, I don't think it's a bad thing because my my main goal is just to. You know, be free, like you said. 100%. And, you know, continue to, like, increase my value, but also increase other people's value. So it's it's really, like, a holistic thing. I'm not trying to just, you know, be a billionaire just to be a billionaire. I oh. want to be a billionaire so I can help a billion people. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. So that's the that's the mindset. That's a bar. <laughs> and <laughs> that's why I create content, to expose this information to people. Like, yeah. that's why I got you on, on my YouTube channel, because... Yeah. This is the kind of stuff that people need to hear. People need to hear from chiropractors. People need to hear from people that are financially literate. For sure. They need to include that in their in their appetite and their yeah. their diet. You know what I'm saying? Because what you consume, whether it's whether it's music, whether it's podcasts, whether yeah. it's food content, food, yeah. everything in your environment it's all is you. something that's a part of your diet. So people need to take a look at their diet. Preach, preach. And audit. Okay. This not my bad, not to cuss, but you know, this shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> Friends do. Friend, yeah, yeah. Respectfully, you can you can, you can grow, outgrow people respectfully yeah. and still be in their life 100%. As, a different, as a different kind of person. You don't have to always, just because you grew up with somebody as their best friend, it doesn't mean that you're always going to be their best friend. I'm going to be best friends on this journey. But that's because I'm, I'm going somewhere and I know I'm about to get there. I just gotta stay tuned. One hundred percent. I want to let you just have a, have a little second to you know give your philosophy on you know creating content on basically summing up a lot of things that we talked about on health. Okay. Well, and just kind of give them some last words. Okay. Um, health, bro. You can 
I think you can have whatever desire, the wildest wish, wildest dream, bro. You want to be a billionaire, trillionaire, retire your parents at 30, whatever the case, bro. Right. You're not going to get none of that if you don't take care of yourself, bro. Bar. You know what I mean? So health is, is truly wealth, bro. Uh, but it goes the other way around. Uh, wealth is health, bro, because it costs money to eat well, bro. <laughs> it, let's just be real, bro. Like right. how we said earlier, bro. You may spend two dollars for a McChicken, but you're gonna spend two dollars trying to save money. <laughs> yeah, for two dollars on an apple, save your bro. Life. A hundred percent. The boy said, "You for <laughs> yourself. That's the most important, <laughs> bro. That, that took me out. But uh, in terms of uh, content, bro, I would just say, yeah. just be organic, bro. Whatever." you feel like your your blessing is or your gift is to the world bro push that out and don't change that narrative don't do something else just because it's hot now or it's a trend because right. bro ignorance is gonna spread way quicker than than true knowledge bro Facts. i mean just it's, it's entertaining be ready be honest most people if you if you out of a group of 10 10 i would say probably eight people are gonna watch uh either the real uh, housewives or uh, NFL or a basketball game as opposed to watching something on financial literacy, bro. Thanks, bro. It's it, nice. it's just keep it a bean, but yeah. you just got to do, you got to take that sacrifice, bro. Whatever is best for you, just do it. Mm. You know, be uncomfortable. I think that's the uh, biggest one. Be uncomfortable. Like this. And I'm going to leave y'all with this. There might be people in your family that aren't on the same page as you because that, that was a case for me, too. Yeah. Um, in all situations, even friends, you gotta be a leader in that situation. Because when, if they see that you're doing something different that's benefiting and making you a better person, making your situation better, then they're gonna follow. That's just how that's how people are. For sure. If, there's, if you look around and you notice that everybody's going in a certain direction, that doesn't mean that it's for you. That doesn't mean that you gotta do that. But you just yeah. gotta, you gotta trust, you. once, once yeah. you have a clear gut, you gotta trust your gut. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. <laughs> hey, hey, bro, I'm a. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> That's funny, bro. Uh, what I was gonna say was in terms of uh, what you were saying, like. Bro, as soon as you said that, I heard this Kodak Black. Uh, I know that's crazy quote, but bro, he right. said, uh, they told me to stay in school. Basically, I'm gonna paraphrase it. They right. told him to stay in school, so he dropped out. If they would have told him to stay in, if they would have told him to drop out, he probably would have stayed in school, bro. Wow. So literally just do the opposite of the masses, bro. <laughs> no, that, that's literally that's literally the bar in itself, bro. If everybody going to the left, bro, I think you should go to the right. Just honestly, mm. uh, be an anomaly. That, just like that, be, bro. be different, be you. <laughs> bro, there's only one you in the world, bro. Literally, <laughs> just be you. Appreciate that's you. love, bro. My brother, I bless you. It.